Hi, I'm Tish, and today we're learning about the senses. I see dead people. No, that is not a sense. We do have more than five senses, but that is not one of them. Please go away. Our senses are how our bodies know what is going on around us. So let's start with the five traditional senses. Sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. Our visual or optical sense is our eyes capability to turn light waves into electrical impulses that get sent to the brain, where the information is turned into what we call vision. It could be argued that this is in fact one, two, or three senses. Our eyes have two types of photoreceptors, rods, which are very sensitive to light, but don't do colors, and cones, which distinguish colors, but don't do very well in dim light. So it could be said that how much light our retinas are receiving is a separate sense from distinguishing colors. And some argue that stereopsis, aka the depth perception that we have because we have two eyes, is a separate sense itself. Our sense of sound perception is our auditory sense. Hearing is all about vibration. We have mechanoreceptors in our inner ear that take vibrations in and turn them into electric nerve pulses to send to the brain. We can sense these vibrations because we are surrounded by air. Anything and everything that moves makes waves in the air that make it to our ears and are interpreted as sound. Our olfactory sense is one of our chemical senses. We have hundreds of olfactory receptors in our nose, each of which detects a certain feature of a molecule. What we sense as one scent or smell is actually several different molecules being interpreted by our olfactory receptors. Smell is also closely related to our sense of taste and is a big factor in what we consider flavor. Gustation is our ability to sense the taste of different substances when they come in contact with our taste buds. There are five basic tastes, sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami. However, they are not designated to certain areas of the tongue. Any taste bud can taste any taste. And as I said before, flavor is actually a combination of taste and smell. That's why when you plug your nose and eat something, it has little to no taste, because most of what we consider flavor is actually your smell. Our sense of touch is caused by the activation of neural receptors in our skin. This also includes a sense of pressure thanks to pressure receptors. This sense of touch is limited to more or less the outside of our bodies, our skin, tongue, throat, and mucosa which is basically anywhere you find mucus. All of these senses help us to know what is going on in the world around us. We can see, hear, and smell things that are far away from us, feel things that are so close they're touching us, and taste what we're ingesting. But we have some other senses that are all about us. We can sense what is going on with our own bodies. We have a kinesthetic sense, proprioception, which is our ability to know where our body parts are even when we cannot see or otherwise sense them. Doctors usually test this by having their patient close their eyes and touch their finger to their nose. Did it. Equilibrioception is our sense of balance and acceleration. The reason we can walk around on only two legs without much trouble is because of our vestibular labyrinthine system in our inner ears. It keeps us upright and gives us our sense of gravity and acceleration or speed. Often included in our basic sense of touch is thermoception, our ability to sense heat or lack thereof, and nociception, our sense of pain. We have different pain receptors for skin, joints and bones, and our body's organs. Other internal senses include hunger, which comes from a combination of sight, smell, and taste. Pulmonary stretch receptors in our lungs give us our sense of full and empty lungs. Peripheral chemoreceptors give our sense of suffocation when our brain lacks oxygen. Our chemoreceptor trigger zone is what tells us when we need to vomit. And we also have chemoreceptors that make us thirsty when our salt levels get too high. We can also feel gas distension in our gastrointestinal tract, swallowing vomit and acid reflux in our esophagus, our gag reflex, when our bladder or intestines are full, and when our blood vessels dilate, such as when we blush or have a headache. Humans have one last sense that isn't connected to any particular sensory organ. It's chronoception, our sense of time. Psychologists and neuroscientists have found that our brain has a system using several different parts of the brain to create our perception of time. 
We also have a part of our brain that keeps track of our daily circadian rhythm and a different part that keeps track of our short-term perception of time. However, our sense of time seems to change as we age, making time feel like it's going faster. And people with Parkinson's or ADD can have an impaired sense of time. So depending how you want to define it, humans have anywhere from 9 to 21 senses. But that's just humans. What senses do animals have going on that we don't? Some of the animal kingdom's unique senses are really just better versions of our senses. Many animals can see, hear, and smell much better than we can. Some animals have an organ that allows them to sense pheromones, which is how animals mark their territory. Bats, dolphins, whales, and porpoises all use some sort of echolocation, which is like taking the sense of hearing to the next level. And some animals can sense electric fields and the Earth's magnetic fields. That's how migratory birds navigate their long trips, and how bees always know where to come home. And animals aren't the only living things that have senses. Plants can sense light, gravity, temperature, humidity, chemical substances, magnetic fields, and damage to their tissues. So if you were starting to think that you were pretty special because you had 21 senses, now you know that animals and even plants have senses that you don't have. If you could have a 20 second sense, what sense would you want? Leave it in the comments below. I think I would want magnetoception. I just feel like that could come in handy sometimes, being able to know which way is north and align myself and uh, being able to sense where magnets or magnetic fields are. Or maybe I just want to be Magneto. Thanks for watching and learning about the senses with me. Leave your questions and comments below or hit me up on social media. And check out the link to my blog for more information and the links to my sources. Spoiler alert, Bruce Willis was dead the whole time. It's not a spoiler when the movie is over 15 years old. <laughs>